Welcome back. Invasive species have become a serious global problem. This morning, we're going to hear from European experts on North American species causing problems abroad. Terry Belke takes us to the outdoors. International commerce fuels global economies and keeps the world running. But along with that trade from country to country comes a different kind of exchange. Invasive species in all forms often stow away and gain a foothold in environments that are unprepared to harbor them, causing damage to an unsuspecting land. As products and move around the world, you have the potential for invasive species to be moved with them either inadvertently or sometimes, for example, um, North American raccoons uh, were purposely imported as pets into Japan and Europe, and now they're considered invasive species there. There are hundreds of invasives in North America, but we export as many as we import. Common ragweed is an irritant to allergy sufferers in the U.S., but its rampant European invasion has magnified its effects. Just because of the density of pollen, uh, because, yeah, this uh, raccoon is not controlled by any natural enemies, so it really multiplies uh, quickly and every season again and again and again. So that's why the pollen density is much, much higher in Europe than in the U.S. Another European invader is the gray squirrel. Common to the U.S. and Canada, they were actually introduced deliberately to the U.K. in 1876. Unlike some other animals which have been introduced, say, for fur, uh, fur farming and so on, these were just really introduced uh, to brighten up the place, if you see what I mean, which is slightly curious because our native red squirrel has always been thought to be <laughs> slightly more attractive. The European red squirrel population is being decimated by the squirrel pox virus, which is carried by the gray squirrels. As a result, their numbers have dropped from three and a half million to about 150,000. And so mortality is 90 to 95 percent at least in red squirrels. It's a harsh global lesson we're being taught, but one in which everyone can help. Education awareness is extremely important. Keep your eyes open for invasive species. Report those to your local um, Department of Natural Resources or State Department of Agriculture, because sometimes finding a, a population of an invasive species early is our best way of eliminating it. Taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke.